Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today following the release of the Apple Watch on Friday, Apple issued iOS 8.4 Beta 2, and let's discuss how it may or may not affect jailbreaking. <laughs> All right, and to start off, I want to provide a quick summary for those of you who don't necessarily like watching longer videos. So essentially today, Apple seeded iOS 8.4 beta 2 to register developers. There's not a new jailbreak utility. We don't have new word from either Taiji or Pangu. Both groups are working on creating a new jailbreak and no, Taiji has not been sold to Apple. They did not disclose vulnerabilities to the company in exchange for monetary compensation. In other words, they were not paid by Apple. It's common misconception that's going on right now that because Apple closed additional vulnerabilities in iOS 8.3 that again Taiji sold them to Apple. They were just vulnerabilities from the original Taiji jailbreak tool that were left unattended when Apple closed the jailbreak with the release of iOS 8.1.3. So again nothing new, no new vulnerabilities were patched. And before we get into today's coverage, if you want to win a brand new Apple Watch of your own, be sure to visit freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. Once you've done so, come back here, rate this video up, and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code, which is the piece that appears in the fourth tab down below at the bottom in the link itself after the equals symbol. And now let's go ahead and switch on over here. So again, today, swiftly following last Friday's official release of the all new Apple Watch, the company seeded the second beta iteration of iOS 8.4 to those enrolled in the official iOS developer program for the purpose of testing the next substantial iOS 8 update prior to its inevitable public release. Now the new iOS 8.4 beta 2 seed comes a mere two weeks following its predecessor's release, with Apple having redirected their attention last week to the new watch and its release. So today's beta carries a slightly revised build number of 12H4086D versus the 12H4074D build number of 8.4 beta 1, suggesting only extremely minor revisions. Now as with all beta releases, today's 8.4 beta 2 seed can be downloaded via Apple's dedicated iOS developer portal or as an OTA or over-the-air update for those with iOS-based devices running the first 8.4 beta. Now with the current Taiji jailbreak having been patched by Apple with the release of iOS 8.1.3 some months ago, except for the updated tool to function on 8.2 betas 1 and 2, both were issued prior to 8.1.3 and therefore didn't include the aforementioned patch, those desperately seeking a new jailbreak will undoubtedly wonder whether there will be a new iOS 8.4 jailbreak upon the firmware's public release or in instead a jailbreak for 8.3, the current public firmware. Quickly discussing iOS 8.4 as an update first, as with the release's predecessor, the firmware offers little in the way of improvements and additional features over iOS 8.3. Simply revamping the music app and addressing a number of minor bugs where said app was concerned, iOS 8.4 betas 1 and 2 pale in comparison to this month's earlier iOS 8.3 public release, which added new emoji options, an improved selection method for emojis, wireless CarPlay connectivity, corrected an annoying Safari spacebar complication, and several other small desired features, not to mention a plethora of bug fixes. But having said that, like with iOS 8.4 beta releases, it's possible that new features may be rolled into subsequent iOS 8.4 beta versions, though that wasn't the case for the second beta iteration of iOS 8.4. And in light of that fact, one could rightly assume that the jump from any previous iOS 8 firmware wouldn't really be justified, unless you're a heavy user of the default music app, especially for those currently jailbroken by way of Taiji on 8.1.2 or lower, or even one of the first two iOS 8.2 betas. So what about jailbreaking? With both iOS 8.3 and the Apple Watch now publicly available, both Taiji and Pangu, the two teams who have confirmed that they're actively working on creating new jailbreak tools, have everything that they require to fully support the latest software and hardware releases. But due to the absence of a jailbreak for iOS 8.3, is it possible that the hackers will opt to once again wait to jailbreak iOS 8.4? Now, while the answer is rather disappointing, yes, it's also very likely that either group could decide the time for a new jailbreak is nigh, seeing as iOS 8.4, the next public iOS 8.x release simply addresses the music app, and they could release a new tool in the coming days. 
As of now, though, anyone who makes claims suggesting that a jailbreak either will or won't be released for a specific firmware is simply making said claims based on speculation. So, unless Taiji or Pangu officially announce new details, the best thing jailbreakers can do is exercise patience. We will receive a new jailbreak, it's simply a matter of time, and the jailbreak groups typically avoid giving ETAs as they often do nothing more than cause disarray and hate amongst impatient jailbreakers. Again, remember guys, this is a great time to be a part of the jailbreak community. We've received more new utilities in the past 365 days or so than we have for iOS 5, iOS 6, and iOS 7. Just give Taiji and Pangu some time. Remember, they are doing all of this for free, and new jailbreak utilities take hundreds of hours, if not more, to create, from things like having to discover and research the various vulnerabilities to actually testing them. So, Big thumbs up to both Taiji and Pangu, you guys are doing awesome work, and I will keep you guys, my viewers, updated along the way. So be sure to stay tuned and click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to, to be notified every step of the way. And if you guys want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like jailbreaking and the Apple Watch, including my Apple Watch giveaway, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU. Signing out.